The multi-threaded capability of the MT5 strategy tester speeds up the process of backtesting considerably. So for example, if your host PC where you're running MT5 has eight logical cores, this will allow eight agents to simultaneously backtest eight sets of parameter values. But did you know that you can also take advantage of other cores on other separate PCs that you have available to you? So if you have three PCs, each with eight logical cores, that's 24 simultaneous backtests that could be undertaken. So this can offer yet further improvements to bring those backtest durations right down. So in this episode, I'll be showing you how to configure a local network farm to achieve just this, and also giving you advice on how to avoid common problems. So let's now take a look at exactly how to do this. So in terms of terminology, when I talk about the master PC, this is the primary host that runs the MT5 strategy tester. And so it's this PC that drives the backtesting process. And of course, this PC has its own logical cores, which run agents, and in turn, it's these agents that run the backtests for the parameter values. But what we can also have are secondary PCs. And although these do not need to use the strategy tester directly, the cores on these PCs can be used to run MT5 agents. And within your local network farm, you're not limited to a single secondary PC, you can have multiple with the cores on each of these being utilized for the backtesting process. So in the example configuration given here, there's a total of 18 cores that can simultaneously provide backtesting power. So let's now take a look at what you need to do in terms of the installation to enable this local network farm. Firstly, the master PC requires a full installation of MT5. So this is probably what you've already got installed. And then on the secondary PCs, you have two options. The first is to perform another MT5 client install. But if you're never going to run MT5 on this particular PC, then there's no need to do that. You can instead install the strategy tester agent console. And this will allow you to utilize the cores on this PC without needing that full MT5 application. And if you decide to take this second approach, you can download that from this address. OK, so now let's take a look at this in action. So what I'm going to show you first is how to set up the secondary PCs to make their agents available to the strategy tester. Now, if you performed a full MT5 install on the secondary PC, you start the agent manager from Tools, Strategy Tester, Agents Manager. If, however, you only installed the agent manager, then you simply start that and you get exactly the same window as you see here. Now, to make those agents available on this PC, you need the services tab. And this will automatically detect how many agents can run on this PC. It will use a suggested password to access them. I'm just going to change that and it will allow you to select which ports you want to make those agents available on. So I'm just going to stick with the default. Now, when you click add, you'll see those agents appear now below. And if you look at the state, they're running. So these are now available for testing. So we can simply close this dialog window and there's nothing else to do in terms of MT5 configuration. So next, let's now look at what you need to do on the master PC where you're actually going to run the strategy tester. So here you need to open the strategy tester and select the agents tab, as you can see here. And under the local cores, you'll notice this section called local network farm. You need to right click on that and select add. Now there's a number of ways in which you can add agents from other PCs. You can either specify the IP address of each of those secondary PCs in turn and select the port that you saw a moment ago and the password that you saw me set on the agent manager. But what I prefer to do is to use the scan network option. And this will scan all of the available devices on your local network looking for any agents that have been enabled. 
So the default IP addresses here are 192.168.0, but you'll need to select whatever your network uses, and you can usually find this from your router. So for me, my network is dot one instead of dot zero. So you need to change that in both of these windows here. You need to set the same password you used when you set up your agents. Now, when you select next, it will automatically scan all of the devices between those two IP addresses. So here you can see that it's selected two different PCs where these agents are set up. And now you can simply click finish and you see those PCs and those agents listed under the local network farm section. Now to make those agents available for the back test, you simply right click and say, use local network farm. And you can see they're now all in a ready state. So now if we initiate a new optimization and take a look at the agents tab, you can now see those agents starting to do their work alongside the local agents at the top. And so clearly this will make the overall backtest duration much shorter. Now let's just cover what some of the typical setup issues are around the configuration of these local network farms. The first and by far the most common will be a local PC firewall on the secondary PCs that is stopping the master PC from connecting to it and using those agents. Depending on the setup of your firewall, there might also be a problem on the local software firewall of the master PC, but that is much less common. Now, there's also a possibility that there will be rules within your router's firewall that could also stop this connection happening. But again, this is much less common. Now, there's a warning here. If you do have issues, then you'll need to make changes to the local firewall in order to allow that access to happen. But be careful. You must not do anything that compromises the security of your network or your PCs. So for example, do not turn off firewalls to allow this connection and don't make any changes if you don't understand what you're doing. The bottom line here is that it's better to have slow back tests than have a vulnerable PC. So once again, only change settings in your firewall if you understand exactly what you're doing. Now, of course, there are many, many different firewalls on the market. And so it's absolutely impossible for me to show you how you should configure all of those. What I will do is show you how I configure my own local firewall, which is a McAfee firewall. But if you do have problems with this, please understand that I can't provide any assistance to you. It's up to you to do the reading and the research in order to work out how to enable your own firewall rules. So once again, please do not post comments below asking for assistance because I will not be able to provide that. So in McAfee, you'd have to run the Security Center application on each of the secondary PCs that had this firewall installed and click on the firewall section here. And then in the ports and system services section, you'd need to add a new rule. You need to give this a name so that you can easily identify it in the future. And it always helps to put in a service description. And now in the ports section, you need to add the ports that you enabled in the agents manager. So for me, this was 2000 to 2003. And you should make sure that you only allow access to PCs in your work or home network. You can then save that rule and that will now enable access to the agents. Okay, so hopefully you found that useful and I wish you all success in terms of getting that configured on your own local farm network. If you're not already aware of Darwin X and what we do, then make sure you click on this link right here. And this will provide you with lots of information about what we do at Darwin X and how we can help you as a trader. So also remember to give me a thumbs up and until next time, trade safe.